Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Before we continue with today's video, please don't forget to share it. Hit the little bell to get notified as soon as I release a new one and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and now enjoy the video. I love you twice as much tomorrow. I love you more than I can say. Hello guys and welcome back to Automobilista to the Beta. Sorry for singing, but I had to do this. <laughs> we are here back with another update today and it's the version 1.011. And uh, not only they do uh, an update in the major sense of things, but they also provide us with hot fixes after these bigger updates that they're going to implement every here and then, but they do this quite regularly and it's an amazing development speed that they are showing us and it's quite promising for the title in general so we are here today with the version 1.011 and guys as many of you know there is the Hockenheim long version track since the update 1.010 and we have it here beginning with the 1977 version going over to the 19 88 version and last but not least we have also the 2001 version here implemented now and guys we are gonna choose just this today for our race event here on my channel and we are going to go with an appropriate vehicle because we're going to choose the v10 formula one from risa studios and this is quite representative for the track that we are gonna go on racing today guys because this spec of the formula one car was I think around about the 2000 season and so we are gonna go with this vehicle today in combination with the historic Hockenheim version of the year 2001 and it was the last year that we have been able to follow this event on this long version of the track so let's go just a little quick to the livery selection screen and let's take a nice livery and you can see here we have been provided with some new color combinations and uh, I think let's go with this nice dark blue and light blue and white combinated color scheme here it's a nice new livery design let's go just a little quick to the showroom to have a nice overview look on the chassis on the livery and on the car itself look at this beauty here with profiled slick tires and look at the bodywork very nice shape and air ducts on the sides and the overview from above so you can see it what a nice beauty we have to go for this event of today in our hands let's then jump it over let's go to the track with this beauty here just a little quick to the opponent skill level settings we're gonna go with 95 and 55 of skill level and aggression and then let's start the event here in Hockenheim historic the year 2001 so take in mind that we have no practice at all made here before racing we will gonna go to do a short qualification run and then we're jumping in directly to the race without any kind of preparation but guys what matters is the dedication and passion that we're going to bring in here into play as the rivals are going out of their garage place to face the fast qualification laps here in Hockenheim let's just go to the setup menu a little quick let's go with the fuel to six laps we have the steering lock max out as I like it to be and then just push the brake bias a little bit to the rear just to avoid some too high brakings in the front that causes tire locks and instability through the tight corners especially into the chicanes by the way we have made some slight changes to our brake setups in general after that Herr Leblik from YouTube, by the way, watch his channel, the nice and uh, very kind, funny man that makes a nice bunch of racing simulation stuff on his channel called Herr Lüblich. 
Well, he said to me that maybe we have uh, some too harsh brakes setups, so we have lowered them a little bit with the brake sensitivity set down from 100 to 85, and we have increased the brake dead zone from 0 to 8, so maybe this will help to get our braking a little bit more controllable. But guys, now enough talking, let's head out to the track as well from here. And here we are then, sitting in the car. Oh. Let's just take our seat position. This is gonna be very accurate here, as we are now ready to go out of our garage place. Slowly through the. Take care, there's a car approaching. Okay, Rafa, lane. we've got 27 minutes to set a lap. We've got cold brakes set all around. On to the track now. Facing already the back straightaway. Very long straight. No, this is not the back straightaway, of course, this is the main straightaway. After the start finish straightaway, it leads up into the woods. Let's just check the pit lane entrance. As the rival are pitting also in here. Pit limiter on. Look out for the pit speed limit. And here we are on our garage place. Let's return to the pit box. Let's check our time. <laughs> Nothing that counts, but the gap is not that big here. We have a 1.4 seconds margin on the pole position setter. So not bad, the timings are quite close together and we are now up to 10 minutes to go. Let's hire the rear downforce a little bit and lower the front one. And now let's go out again for another try. Okay, Rafa, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. 10 minutes, enough time to Pitex change the Push. rules here. There we go. Your brake temperatures are low. We need to get some heat into them. Can we carry a little bit more speed through the chicanes with the setup change that we have made? Are a little bit too slow at the straights. Much more confident through the corners now. In the corner, we gain a lot of time and we lose a little bit of time through the high end speed sections. All in all, 
this should work out for us. As we are coming up the back straight away. One second down. There we go, 1.2 is the gap now. Motodrome section sucks curve and we have to step back here. So we're losing a little bit of time, but all in all, we're coming up the line tenth position. in tenth position. Which is not bad, so You're outside track let's get there. from here, guys, to the race. Checkered flags out, P10. And we are starting from P10 with a margin of almost half a second to the pole position setter, which is Mickey Salut. As you can see, all the drivers are really close together time-wise. So this could be a nice, interesting battle here in Hockenheim. That's the end of the session, now, E10, 10th position, to setup. 7 laps. Let's fill up a little bit the tank for the race length. Let's go to 8 laps and let's lower the rear downforce to gain a little bit more of high-end speed. And there we should be ready to go, guys, for the race here in Hockenheim. Okay, Rafa, get ready. So now let's get ready for the action in Hockenheim. Red lights are on. Go, and go, off go. the line we go now. Approaching to the first corner, down to the third gear. Panterino from behind. Not a bad start, but we lost one place. We're chasing down the main straightaway. Breaking for the first chicane and we gained a little bit towards the leaders there. Second chicane we have really to break down a lot. In order to avoid Contact. Now we are on the back straight. Car left. Clear left. Very aggressive cars around us. You're locking your front right wheel. Just another position. Let's see how wide you can make this thing. Sucks corner into the motodrome. The leader has just done a 145.7. Come on, let's get over this line. B12. We've done the first lap, we have survived here. For the moment in Hockenheim. Smoothly through the chicane. The gap ahead is now 1.3. Try to keep up with the rivals. bit of uh, sideways there for the second chicane. Third chicane, very tricky. 
especially the exit. Coming back into the motodrome arena. The leader's just done a 142.3. Back on the main straight away. The gap behind is now 1.0. That last lap was at 143.8. Coming back into the motorhome arena. The leader is just on a 142.3. Coming back into the motorhome arena. The leader is just on a 142.3. Coming back into In the rhythm now. Okay, Rafa, don't let this guy distract you. Over the inside line. Last two corners of the lap, once again over the line. Air temperatures falling through it's now the first corner. And it's getting a little bit more cloudy now as we are on lap four. Still on P12. You need to push if we're going to hold this position. Yes, I'm agreeing with you, but uh, it's easier to say than to do. But we're trying all we can. As it gets a little bit more hazy. Coming up the second chicane once again. Again, we are under pressure from behind. Come on, don't make it easy for him. Make him go the long way around. There we go, through the third chicane. Still on P12. Defending from the attacks. Missing a little bit the apex there. Last corner of lap number four. Half distance, fuel looks good. Your last lap time was at 143.5. Let's keep it in the, track the fifth falling. gear this time. Now to the, the first corner of the new lap. Celsius. Once more, and we have a good line this time through it. The right tires are cold. Second chicane smoothly through it on the throttle at the exit, and again we are under pressure here. Cover the inside line. 
for the next chicken. bit tricky with the back end there at the exit The line one to two to that lap was at 143.4. Air and track temperatures are increasing. Air temp is now 30. The track temp is now 40 Celsius. And we are on the penultimum lap. Anticipating the entrance of the chicane. This time with a nice line and seemingly we can pull away a little bit now from the followers. Increasing the pace. On the limits at the exit of the third chicane once again given all we have got here through the last sector One of this lap. You've just done it, 142.5. Oh no, come on. Ah oh, man, what a pity. You're out of track limits there. We overshoot there, the exit of the corner and we lost two positions. Ah, very disappointing. But either way, we wouldn't have Captain been able Rodriguez. to score points now. So, let's take this as a learning lesson. As we're coming up through the second chicane for the last time in this race. number three once again your front tires are cold sucks curve greetings to fed for the last time here last corner of the whole race and there we go, the race is over, P15. So getting okay. over the line oh, with P15, 15, oh man, P15, but it was a nice race, ah, despite our error that we have made, we have made only one error, so not too bad, but uh, for sure we want more, more than just uh, uh, 15th position as we're going a little bit off track again here but it's the cool down lap and uh, now let's take it easy let's roll with the AI here 
let's enjoy a little bit of the rest of the Hockenheim magic here of the atmosphere as we're coming through the Ostkurve with the AI and uh, I have to say the AI is really good they have made a nice race and we had any chances to go to the attack mode but we could defend at least quite nicely uh, only that we had one mistake at the last lap so under the line we scored a 15th place race and but I'm really pleased that we have been able to end this race from start to the finish and uh, as I'm always saying if I would have a little bit more practice uh, into the game here then for sure I could get way better results we'll here, but, uh, this is not the main aim at the moment here for us as we're coming back into our carriage place and there we go the Hockenheim race has been done and now we have just to look on the standings you can see Miki Hukola wins the race and Nick Redfield is on P2 so it's Mika Hekinen who won it on P2, Nick Heidfeld on P3, Michael Schumacher and on P4, Giancarlo Fisichella on P5, Jean Alesi, Rubens Barrichello has been licensed here actually you can see it him you can see him on P7 and we are down on P15 but as you have a look on the best lap times we are again quite close to the fast man here on the grid so guys with that being said let's head over to the replay stuff let's get the action of the race start from the track cam view as you can see the start here from P10 a little bit of a wheel spin as always when we start the race and then we got tapped from arrival at the first corner but uh, with, without any too much consequences for either one of us and then we were chasing down this very long first part of the straightaway breaking down for the first chicane right left second gear and then the exit shifting through up to the seventh gear again maximum speed 320 km per hour and breaking down another time for another chicane and here we have to lock the tires really hard there to avoid to make contact to the rival in front and we came out of this chicane safe and we were under attack immediately onto the back straightaway so we tried to defend the inside line but we were caught by the rival anyway so we were set down to p12 here but at least we were leading our teammate as i'm seeing it here right now didn't uh, see it during the live race action but then we came up the sax corner the fatty corner as i would call it and then we came back uh, towards the last couple of bends here and coming up the main straightaway once again for the first lap concluded and look at this replay action i like it so much it's really capturing the atmosphere and uh, the magic the magicity of the Hockenheim 2001 version. So huge thanks to the Risa Studios boys for this content. I'm liking it so much and uh, I hope that 
they will develop in, in the same direction as they did till now the game further on and uh, but for today's guys this is it i hope you have enjoyed the video if you end up liking the video please don't forget to smash a like button it's really helping me out and consider subscribing to my channel as well to support my work my passion that i'm sharing with you here guys and for the rest i have to say just thank you so much for watching and uh, for the rest stay well stay truth and stay tuned and we see us the next time so thank you again and bye bye from Ronaldo. Coming up the last corner for the second lap, I say bye-bye till the next time. Ciao!